What a sharp recovery across indices with the Fed a relief rally is there as most of the indicators were at bottom and the charts were at bottom and hence this relief rally has also completed the journey. Now what is going to happen today whether it is going to rise more or we can see a drop from here. We are going to look with the help of candlestick charts and indicators. We will look into Dow Jones, Nasdaq, FTSE 100 and Germany 40. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Let's start the day with Nasdaq 100 first. See Nasdaq 100 today is again shy of 13,550 levels and it is also shy of 13,500. So don't take a position in between here. In between, yeah, but yes, if you see it trading below 13,500, you can go short. There is a fair brittleness here. It is left a larger room for it to complete and we can see a drop for in it towards 13,300 levels again. But these are markets. This is overbought on the two hour charts as well and hence a drop cannot be denied. MACD is wide and divergent. It can start converging. RSI is near to overbought. And if you look at the 3R charts, similarly on the 3R charts, if it trades above 13,550, one can go long, else one can go short below 13,500, levels below which one can expect that it may try to come back at least till towards 13,400, which is a fairly strong support level, then 13,300 and below that we can see it coming back till towards this zone at 13,100 levels. I'll be cautious, uh, MACD is again trying to converge and it is going to cross over for a sell. See, stochastic I was talking about. Now, the MACD. MACD is extremely divergent from here. The convergence must start. So, I'll be cautious. RSI is near to overbought. And if you look at the 4-hour charts, on the same time, 4-hour charts are similarly overbought here. Lower highs can be seen here. And once you see lower highs, probably if it breaks below 13,500, that is the time one can expect that it can try to go back a little. On the downside, 13,400 can be expected and then below that we can see it coming back till towards 13300 levels and then below 13300 13150 and 13100 cannot be denied these two levels are going to remain a fairly strong support levels see extremely overbought on 4 hour charts the uh, us 100 is extremely overbought on the 4 hour charts it must try to drop and uh, yes the MACD is overbought the uh, MACD is also try to must try to converge from here so I'll be cautious and I'll be still expecting it to drop from here the RSI is near to overbought running flat now look at the daily charts on the daily charts another observation here is that it is fairly trading in this downward trending channel and the highs here are very much at around 13550 levels so if it tries to go back above 13550 then only one can expect a rise from here else it can try to retrace back a bit if you see it trading below 13500 one can expect that it can try to come back again towards 13400 300 and then in fact it can try to come back till towards 13100 level this will still continue in the uh, near term upward zone stochastic on the daily charts again trying to enter into overbought zone there is a fair gap and divergence and hence still uh, it is shy of the uh, bearishness again now look at the MACD MACD has just crossed over first green candle and hence one can expect its next green candle too if it is it has to remain bullish so yes one can go long above 13550 one can go short below 13500 and yes rather I will say 13490 and 13560 you can still keep 10 points each on the buffer side and beyond 13560 one can expect it to hit 13 700 and 13800 levels today itself below 13 uh, 490 one can expect it to go back till towards 13400 13 350 and 300 levels today itself in fact it can try to go back further down till towards 13100 levels stay cautious the rally has completed uh and bought the indicators in the comfort zone the rally has also if it is bearish this will also be a good trap for the bulls out there and it will cause a panic among the uh, shorters who are short there probably they will close their shorts and uh, yes this will create a, a, a fear of moving out rally where you can expect the people will try to go long so it can be a perfect trap stay cautious and stay alert and take your positions strictly with stop loss only now let's have a look at Dow Jones similarly us 30 long entry above 34100 short entry below 33000 very clear mandate rather you can say uh, one can go short at 33970 and one can go long at 34100 in between these 130 points do not trade 
and if you look at the two hour stochastic this is overbought a convergence and a drop is expected MACD is wide divergent from here green red candles can make it converge RSI is overbought I will be cautious with the any further rise it may try to come back and drop a little look at the three hour chart similarly lower highs and fairly strong support zone at 34,000 once you see it trading below 33,970 one can go short for 33,800, 33,700 levels in fact it can drop more how far, how far this could come this can completely erase the previous rise so I'll be cautious look at this uh, stochastic there here is on the 3 hour charts is overbought MACD is wide and divergent indicating a probable convergence RSI is near to overbought levels too and if you look at the 4 hour charts similarly on the 4 hour charts lower highs and trying to uh, wait for a breakout if you see it trading above 34100 one can go wrong one can remain long one can expect that it may try to give you another 300 400 points however 4 hour stochastic again overbought here and try to converge probably we may see a little drop MACD is trying to uh, trade act bullish RSI is near to oversold overbought zone and if you look at the daily candle similarly on the daily candle it can try to create a double top and then probably it can try to come back if it has to drop it can come back till towards 33400 levels so a drop cannot be denied in sum one can go long above 34120 and 33970 uh, is the levels to go short in between these 150 points i will recommend you to stay cautious um, stochastic looking towards overbought zone there is a fair gap here and hence another bullish candle cannot be denied but i'll be cautious macd trying to cross over one more green candle and it will be in greener zone and we can see a rally again and it can continue to rally for next few days probably if it crosses over and yes the resistance there on the upside is very much there at around 34 450 levels this is the 100 period moving average on the daily charts and here you can see the 50 period moving average now giving it a support here somewhat support we might see it at around 32 900 970 levels below that one can expect a sharper drop so yes you can go long or one can go long beyond 34 120 beyond that one can expect that it may try to go back till towards 34 400 34 uh, 400 is going to be a very strong resistance beyond that it can try to rise strongly again towards 34 550 levels fairly strong resistance on the downside if you see it trading below 32 970 one can, 33 970 one can go short there at 33 970 and one can expect the first target at 33 800 33 720 and then below that we may see a sharp correction which will take it towards 33 600 500 and 400 levels in fact it can complete the or completely erase the previous rise so take your positions accordingly trade with caution trade with strict stop loss there now let's have a look at Germany for look at Germany 40 here it is trading in a ascending and it, here it is trying to get a fairly strong resistance at around 14280 so for the day one can go long only once you see it at 14300 and above beyond 14300 one can remain long beyond 14200 one can go short bin between these 100 points I will not recommend you to take a position why this is because it is overbought and yes one can in fact try to initiate a short entry below 14230 where the next support at 14220 and 14200 is there and yes below 14200 one can expect a sharper drop so uh, on the upside 14300 may remain a stronger resistance the MACD is wide divergent it may start to converge from here RSI is again overbought and hence I have to be very cautious there with our positions now look at the 3 hour chart similarly on the 3 hour chart minor retracement again looking forward to rise and if it tries to drop below this zone at 14200 one can consider that this is a bearish move we all are waiting we can try to come back till towards 14150 14100 and then the strongest support zone is here at around 14050 levels if it breaks 14050 levels it will drop sharply and the rsi stochastic is overbought the macd is wide divergent it must start to converge and drop rsi is overbought here and if you look at the four hour charts similarly on the four hour charts one can see that this is near to overbought here and yes it is trying to uh, remain green however failing to do so one can go short here at uh, 14 to 40 levels and one can expect that it can try to come back to 14 200 which may provide a little support then 14 150 next support below 14 150 it can try to erase the gain and it can drop sharply towards 14 0, 5, 0 levels very strong support and below that a sharper drop can be expected on germany 40 
and if you look at the four hour stochastic overbought macd white divergent must converge rsi is also near to overbought zones look at the daily charts from here almost it is completed is higher highs have been seen and yes only if it breaks beyond this zone at 14300 i'll recommend you to go long and yes one can go short at 14240 how far this could come this can again come back till towards 14100 14050 levels very strong support levels and yes below 14240 one can remain short one can expect it to drop till towards 14200 first target 14150 next target 14 uh 14050 the third target can be in fact achieved here on the daily charts this is overbought macd has just crossed over two green candle and possibly a third greener candle can be expected and rsi is near to comfort zone considering this only long entry is above 14300 beyond that 14433 14500 can be expected and beyond that we may see a sharper rise on the downside breaking below 14240 one can go short for 14200 below 14200 14150 next support and below that it will try to drop towards 14050 levels and below so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at FTSE 100 now look at FTSE 100 FTSE 100 again uh, trading ascendingly here you can see higher lows is being formed and the slope is looking upwards one can go long above 7580 that is very clear beyond that one can expect it to go back till towards 7620 7650 levels uh, stochastic here is overbought i'll be cautious macd is, has just crossed over wide and divergent indicating little bullishness rsi is near to overbought zones and if you look at the 3 hr chart similarly on the 3 hr charts it is trying to give you higher lows and trying to rise so yes you can go long at around 7560 rather i will say 7550 once you see it below 7550 go short for 7540 and then towards 7530 and 20 levels in fact the next support level is at 7500 i'll be cautious and you can only remain short below 7550 remember uh, a very strong a resistance may come in, in above these levels and on the upside 7600 very strong resistance on the upside also now look at the stochastic on the 3 hr chart is overbought macd is running in green and it is still uh, running parallel and if you look at the 4 hr chart see it is trying to create a step out there and till the time it remains above 7550 one can go long and it is looking bullish probably we may see 7600 soon on FTSE 100 and in fact if it breaks 7600 7620 and 7650 levels cannot be denied it can try to go back till about these levels only short entry is below 7550 where you can expect a drop on the 4 hr charts near to overbought macd running parallel and rsi is near to overbought zones too on the daily charts if you look at see it is trying to give you similar size of candle here 7450 to 7550 7550 to 7650 it can go back till there remember we can see a sharp bullish move in FTSE 100 it is looking forward to a rise one can remain long till the time it remains above 7550 above this one can remain long and one can expect 7600 7620 7650 levels so take your positions accordingly do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon reach out to me for any of your trading or training related queries join my next mentorship batch starting on 9th of may also you can be part of my vip signals group reach out to me via telegram or email my telegram and email id is mentioned in the video and channel description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you